So how might we think about creating some channels that make it easier to separate these things? Well, we already saw this from our previous conversation. Let's separate out the intensity from the color, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to define intensity Y as some combination of R, G, and B, okay? And so that gives you this nice picture here. And those of you that are old enough to remember black and white television, you start to be thinking, oh, wait a minute, this is like an image that just reflects the overall intensity of what's there. And that would be correct, all right? Uh, and in fact, a luminance function, which is what this is called, is just a linear weight of the red, green, and blue pixels. Here are our weights of red, green, and blue. And by combining them together, I get a single value Y for luminance. Remember, Y stands for luminance for reasons that are because it's the middle of XYZ. That's why. All right. So now I need the two other values, right? I mean, I could just keep the R and G and then try to reconstruct them. But instead, what they do is they compute uh, a different color space. Then this is called the YUV color space. And here's a, a computation that takes the B values, the Y values, and creates a new value called U and V. And a way of thinking about this is one of them has to do with sort of the difference between the luminance and blue, and the other one is the difference between luminance and red, and it matches and it creates this thing called UV. And the thing that you need, that you need to know is that U and V contain the color information. So if they tell you that they're giving you an image in YUV space, you know that the UV contain the, the chromatic, uh, the color uh, information. And by the way, uh, in this YUV uh, mapping, there's a maximum and minimum that uh, U and V can get mapped to, and that's why it's called U max and V max. And we assume that RGB range from 0 to 1. Okay? If it goes from 0 to 255, you just scale the whole thing. All right. When you create that, you can actually make three images, right? You can make a Y image, a U image, and a V image. And that would look like this. All right? So the Y image is exactly what you're used to seeing in your black and white television. But your U image and your V image, those contain the color elements. Now you might ask, well, why aren't they in color? Why aren't they in color? Because each one of them is a single channel, OK? Right, so that's the U. So the brighter it is, the higher U. The lower it is, the, the less U. Uh, same thing with V.